So I was looking through a couple of videos that I did back in 2019 and man, I gotta say, it feels like it was a really long time ago, but it's not that long ago because like it's only been a year, but there's been a lot of things happening. But I came across this video. I have been getting so many questions from you and a bunch of other guys as well on how I do things like this in my videos. So I thought we should cover the top five plugin that I use for Final Cut Pro in this video. And I thought to myself, you know what, Peter, we need a new video for 2020 on which kind of plugins that you use right now. And uh, that is where this video is coming in hot. As you probably know, there's a bunch of different plugins that you can buy out there for Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro is basically based on plugins if you want to do cool things and if you want to like have some really good color grading or if you want to do some really cool effects and in Final Cut Pro itself there's not much things that you can do that looks cool. That is why I thought I'd talk about a couple of plugins that I use on a lot of my videos so that you might be feeling like you know what these plugins are pretty cool so I'm gonna go and grab this myself. The first plugin is Cinema Grade and Cinema Grade is a plugin that I've been talking about a whole lot on this channel before but it's a really really good color grading plugin and what I really like about Cinema Grade is that it's basically like Lightroom but for your videos and it basically feels like you're able to do the exact same things as you can do in Lightroom, but it's like applying to your videos. So it's like, you can get some really professional looking result with Cinema Grade super fast. And you don't have to know much about like color grading and how it works and the deep science that is behind color grading because it gives you this option to like do some basic color grading to your video. And then you have the option to go to the final grading tab and then do the final adjustments to get that professional look that you can have on your final result. And that for me has been like a game changer because I've been using Cinema Grade to color grade the poker b-roll, the office b-roll, the recent video that I shot together with my dad. And it has just been like a true gem to have in Final Cut Pro when it comes to like making my videos look more professional. So if you want to get started like color grading your videos in Final Cut Pro but you don't really know where to start because the built-in in Final Cut Pro is so and so then Cinema Grade is definitely the plugin that you should go for and if you want to like take it up a notch and step your game up, so to speak, then I would highly recommend to check out Color Finale Pro 2 because there's a couple of things that you can do in Color Finale Pro that you cannot do in Cinema Grade. And basically you can like go into like more depth and use the color wheels, adjust the midtones, highlights, shadows, use HSL uh, tabs and everything that is gonna be like in depth color grading is going to be included in color finale. And it's also gonna be like super useful to have like as an extra addition to Cinema Grade so that if you're not satisfied with the look from Cinema Grade, then you just like, oh, <clears throat> here comes color finale and here's the final look. And it's also the plugin that I use to export my LUTs that I create for you so that you can purchase on my website and making my footage go from looking like this to this one. Huh? Pretty cool. The next plugin is going to be a plugin that is called M Glitch, and this is a plugin that I used for the short sequence that I shot with the DJI Osmo Action, where I, like snapped my fingers and then boom, I disappeared. And just before I like snapped my fingers and did the hard cut, I used the plugin M Glitch to give it that like subtle glitch effect, so that something was happen when I snapped my fingers. And the cool thing about like this plugin is that you don't have to use use all the different settings at once because you can only use the prism if you want to do that or you can only use the uh, what is it called uh, uh, distortion or you can only use the shake so it's basically a bunch of plugins built into one single unit if you can call it like that and that makes it like super useful for a bunch of different scenarios and it's also the plugin that I use to create the intro effects that I used in my previous intro that I had here on this channel. And if you haven't seen it, I'm gonna roll it right now. Ah, that's uh, a little bit nostalgic when you watch it, right? The next plugin is going to be this, which is the 
M Flare 2. And this is actually a plugin that I talked about in my previous video as well, but I really like the look that you can get with this plugin. And the cool thing is that we use this in my short film Aftermath to give like the flashlight this anamorphic look to it and make it feel like it was actually shot on an 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 anamorphic lens and not a regular lens. But it's not the only thing that I've used it for because I've also used it to create all the lens flares that you've seen in the majority of my thumbnails. So the way that I do that is that I add the photo to the timeline in Final Cut Pro and then I drag the plugin onto the image that I want to add the flare to and then I adjust all the different settings and make sure that the flare is like placed right where I want it to be and up the saturation and maybe like reduce the size or something like that and then when I'm satisfied I just like hit file share export save current frame and then upload it to YouTube and there you go you have a nice looking flare on your thumbnail. The last plugin that I want to talk about is the one that I used to create this effect with and it's called MHUD3. And fun fact, it's also the plugin that I used to create the intro that I'm using for this channel at the moment and that you saw in the beginning of this video. You know what, I'm gonna roll it right now so do you get a little bit of a refresh of your memory. <laughs> Being able to create an intro like that with this plugin is actually pretty cool because then you can do it by yourself and don't have to pay anyone else to like try to find your vision and then you can do like all the different things that you want to do to it instead. And uh, you know what? I'm actually going to show you how simple it is to create an intro like that for yourself. So uh, let's jump in to Final Cut Pro. So what you want to do is that you want to go up here to the generators and then you want to go to MHUD3 and then we're going to jump down to logos. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to choose logo six and I'm going to drag it to the timeline. And if we play it back, it's just going to look like this. Like we don't have our own logo added into it. It's just going to be like the logo that is. So what you want to do is that you want to go over here and choose 2D and then you want to reduce the scale of the logo so it's not too big. And then we're going to go down and we are going to add our logo to this by choosing the drop zone and then moving up to the logo. And there we go. And we're going to hit apply clip. So as you can see, our logo is not in color. And that is because there's a effect that is turned on that we're going to turn off. So we're going to go back to the parameters tab and then we're going to scroll all the way down and then we're gonna choose the layer one color mix and we're gonna drag this down and then you can see our color is coming back now. And playing this back, you can see we already have like a nice glitch effect there in the beginning. And as you can see, the logo is like flashing with a really intense flash overall. And that is something that I wanna do. So I'm gonna like drag down the interlace so I don't have the logo flashing at all. And then I want to add a little bit of like nice effect to it. And uh, we're going to go up here to the glow and I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to reduce the glow exposure and reduce the glow intensity, but we're going to increase the size like so. And we're going to reduce the glow amount as well to somewhere around there. And then we're going to drag down the exposure as well. And let's play this back. Ah, that's nice, right? Gotta say, I like it a whole lot. And there you go. That is a super simple way to create a professional intro in a really short period of time. And I mean, like, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with that plugin that I didn't show you. But if you're interested in a video on that, then I might just uh, do a video on that. Do drop a comment below because I would love to know. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up because it does help a lot. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, that'd be highly appreciated as well. So, uh, oh, hi, uh, I guess we do as we always do. Peter from P Peter från Peter. I'm gonna say it in Swedish. Peter från Sverige säger hej då.